please all stand for the Regina Celli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you deserve to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Because the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, you mercifully brought joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant that we may come to the joy of everlasting life through the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Mark Lemuel Tibai. Please all stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord is asking us to await the coming of the Paraclete. May we have the Holy Spirit in our lives so that we could move according to God's will. For the times that we have been far away from the Lord, let us humble ourselves and ask for His mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In you we have the hope for redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. In you we find the strength to renew our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and merciful God that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. 
About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In a mental institute, the phone rang. Nag, nag ring yung telepono. At sumagot yung nurse. Sabi niya, Hello, mental institute. How may we help you? At yung the other person in the line said, Hello, I just called because I want to make sure that uh, to know if patient 
134 is still in his room. And the nurse was uh, surprised. No? Why would he ask that? The nurse immediately came back to the phone. Sabi niya, hello? Yes, the patient is missing. No? He's no longer there in the room. Why did you call anyway to us? Ah, I just called to make sure that I escaped from my room. Now I'm sure that I really escaped. <laughs> the brothers and sisters, the team, one of the themes that we could draw from the readings today is about not escaping. Wag tatakas sa mga problema. In our first reading, Paul and Silas was brought to prison. And miracles of miracles, an earthquake happened, and the doors were open for them. They could have easily escaped. But they did not. They know that they did nothing wrong. They know that God is with them. And so they had nothing to be afraid of. They had no reason to escape. They could face everything because they know God is with them. The Spirit was, it was with, with them. But the jailer, the guard who was in charge of uh, imprisoning them, was afraid. Natakot siya. And he wanted to end his life. But Paul said, no? Brother, don't do it. We are here. We, we did not escape. We did not also choose the path of the coward. Wag mong kitilin ang sarili mong buhay. And so the jailer saw hope because Paul and Silas did not escape. Hindi ba may kasabihan? Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Ang buhay, magdadala at magdadala ng mga problema. Wag ka lang susuko. Malalampas mo rin yan. Wag ka lang susuko. Tutulungan ka din ng Panginoong Diyos malambasan ang lahat ng pinagdadaanan mo. And so the message of from the first reading, no? do not escape. The Lord will be there for you. You have nothing to be afraid of. Just remember, the Lord is with you. In our gospel reading for today, Jesus was saying his farewell to his disciples. Seemingly, for the disciples, he was escaping. Namamaalam si Jesus para bagang tatakas. So, iiwanan sila. But he was not escaping. He was just obeying his father. And he said the reason he has to leave so that he could send the advocate. He has to leave so that the spirit would come. And it would strengthen the disciples. Mahalagang mapadala ang Espiritu Santo sa kanya mga disipulo. At mahalaga din harapin ng bawat disipulo ni Jesus ang kanilang mga sariling cross, ang kanilang mga sariling problema. Kasi sa pamagitan ng cross, sa pamagitan ng mga problema, doon tayo lalakas, doon tayo lalakas ang pananampalataya sa Panginoong Diyos. Doon tayo magtutulungan sa bawat isa. It won't grow without the cross. And so, Jesus is telling us, do not escape your own mission. Do not escape your own crosses and trials in life. The Spirit will be there to strengthen you, to help you overcome these trials. But it is only through these trials that you will be saved and be strengthened. And so, just remember, you could face everything because the Lord is with us. Let us all stand. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines asked us to pray the Horatio Imperata for rain to grant relief amid the dangerously high heat indexes being recorded in various parts of the country. Please kneel.
all together. God, our loving Father, creator of our earth and of the universe, and of all the wondrous elements of nature that sustain your living creatures, we humbly ask you to grant us relief from the extreme heat that besets your people at this time, disrupting their activities and threatening their lives and livelihood. Send us rain to replenish our depleting water resources, to irrigate our fields, to stave off water and power shortages, and to provide water for our daily needs. At your command, the wind and the seas obey. Raise your hand, Almighty God, to avert the continuing rise in temperatures so that your people engage in productive undertakings and our young people can pursue learning in tranquility and comfort. Merciful and generous God, open our eyes to the richness and beauty of your creation and instill in us a deep love for this earth and all that is in and around it. Teach us to be wise towards of your creation so that we may always use them responsibly and protect them from abuse and exploitation. At this time of crisis, dear Lord, move us to share more, to serve more, and to love more. Loving God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you entrusted the Filipino people to the special care of Mary, our mother. Listen to the prayers that we bring up to her, our Blessed Mother, to intercede for us for the protection of our land and our people whom she loves. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Rose of Lima, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calonso, pray for us. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. And we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to let to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by condemning himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, the lamb of sacrifice, 
Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in their praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lord of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in his present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sumaya, who